Now we'll talk about perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines meet at 90 degree angle. These slopes are different in two ways. The first is that the slopes are reciprocals. That means that they're, they're flipped. The denominator goes to the numerator, numerator goes to the denominator. The slopes also have different signs. So if we look at this, this slope is 4 over 1. To find the perpendicular slope, we have to flip it so it becomes 1 over 4, and we have to change the sign so it's a negative. So negative 1 over 4. Okay, so let's look at this. We're going to start off again by putting these in a format, which it's easier to read the slope. So we'll subtract 5x from both sides for this first equation. That gives us negative y equals negative 5x plus 2. This is really a negative 1, so we'll divide everything by a negative 1, which changes all of our signs. That gives us positive 5x minus 2. So my slope here is 5 over 1, positive 5 over 1. So let's do the same thing for our other equation. We have x minus 5y equals 15. We'll subtract x from both sides. That gives us negative 5y equals negative x plus 15. And then we'll divide each piece by negative 5. That gives us y equals two negatives is a positive. There's really a one here, so we have one fifth x minus three. So my slope here is positive one fifth. So if we look at these two slopes, we can see that they're reciprocals, but the problem is that they're both positive, so they're not perpendicular. They have to be opposite signs also. All right, so let's look at this. Now we want to write an equation. So our slope in this problem they give us is negative 5 over 1. I want my new slope to be perpendicular to that. So I want to flip it and I want to change my sign. So not negative but positive and 5 over 1 becomes 1 over 5. So this is going to be the slope I'll use when I write my equation. I'm going to use my point slope form that we talked about in the last section. This is my x1 and y1. So we'll have y minus a negative 1 equals 1 fifth times x minus 5. Remember this is really plus, and I'm going to distribute this. So we have y plus 1 equals 1 fifth x, and 1 fifth times 5 is 1, so we have minus 1. Now I'll subtract 1 from both sides, and I get y equals 1 fifth x minus 2. And here is our last example. We want to go through this point, and we want it to be perpendicular to this line. So it's an x equals line, so let's look at what that means. x equals is going to cross the x-axis at 4. So straight up and down. So perpendicular to that would mean it has to go straight across, opposite directions. We want to go through this point 5, 3. So here's my point. To be perpendicular, I'm going to have to go straight across from it. Remember, every straight across line crosses the y-axis, so it's a y equals, and this one crosses at 3, so my perpendicular line would be y equals 3.